ask you about, but uh, have to start with your first triple double. Congratulations! Um, Appreciate it. Um, what what helped you uh, get your first triple double tonight? Uh, teammates made shots. Uh, <laughs> that's the biggest thing. Um, <clears throat> but no, um, all jokes aside, you know, I know we got a lot of guys out right now, and you know, kind of understanding, you know, um, you know, from a defensive perspective, opposite team, you know, I have eyes, so you know, just trying to make the right play. And, um, you know, when I draw a two, someone's open, just making the right basketball play, try to make it every time down the floor. And, um, you know, it helped us, you know, generate good offense. You know, we had a lot of assists tonight, a lot of great ball movement, the ball didn't stick, and um, it just felt good out there, so. Speaking of uh, your teammates, is uh, Corey Kispert back on your good side now? Um, yeah, he hit a couple, right? Yeah, he hit a couple. Uh, so, yeah, appreciate it, Corey. <laughs> Kyle, uh, what, what's your sense of uh, Porzingis and what he could bring to this group? Uh, I like KP a lot. You know, um, as soon as the trade went down, I uh, got on the phone with him. And, um, you know, he's super, super excited. You know, it's a great opportunity for him. Um, I know he's ready, very excited. Uh, you know, and uh, he's, he's got a lot of proof, too. So, um, you know, obviously, I think a lot of times in the, in the past, I know playing him, they usually put four men on him and, um, you know, good luck guarding us if, you know, I got fives on me. So um, I think it's phenomenal. I think it's great. You know, if we can allow him to, uh, you know, stay healthy and, and um, you know, get him touches, it would be great for us. Coach Casey, you just said the vibe was different tonight. Did you get that sense in the huddle before you guys came out? Uh, yeah, for sure. You know, um, you know, we've been through a, a lot this year. A lot of things uh, have transpired. And, you know, our, our main message um, prior to the game was, hey, man, you know, we got 30 games left. It just all depends on us how we want to finish this season. Um, you know, we can continue to dwell and, and, and point fingers or we can just come together and uh, play free and, and have a lot of fun out there. And um, as you guys all saw, we had a lot of fun out there. And um, playing for one another, ball movement was great. Um, talking um, defensively, and um, you know, it was just a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Mitch Smith is a guy that brings a lot of pace to the game. Yes, a lot. But do you foresee that kind of helping the group kind of get out of this stagnation of half court offense sometimes? Oh, one thousand percent. Um, you know, obviously, I've been in this league a little bit, so familiar with Ish's game. I know uh, he loves to push the pace, and he's one of the quickest point guards, um, you know, in the league. You know, that's always been his rep. So, you know, his ability to get in the paint, touch the paint, spray out, a lot of open looks. Um, and he's a traditional um, pass first point guard. You know, he's, he's someone that really looks to get other guys open, uh, get other guys' touches, and um, can't disrespect him either. You know, he can get down, he can twist you, um, and he has a nice little mid-range too, so. Uh, very excited to play with him as well. So, something I've noticed recently about you, it doesn't seem you go out for uh, pregame introductions. You kind of hang out in the tunnel. Why yeah. is that part of your routine? Um, you know, I just I've always done that. Um, always done that. You know, I, I, I get a lot. I get really nervous uh, before games. Um, it's just natural for me. I've always my entire life, and um, you know, the past two years I, I I haven't started. So. Um, you know, I've always just been back in the tunnel and just keeping it because that's my, my everyday routine. And um, I just try to keep my game days the same. So um, with all the changes on the roster, it might create an opportunity for some of the younger guys that you, you've talked about kind of mentoring, you know, Denny, Ruby, guys like that. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think about the opportunity that they now have? Oh, it was great. I mean, you saw Rudy, um, Denny tonight, you know, play phenomenal. Um, he did a great job playing defense. Obviously, that's what he's do. That's his hallmark. And, um, you know, I think he did a great job just playing simple basketball. You know, he's a, he's a very high IQ guy. Um, you know, he makes mistakes, but we all make mistakes. But, you know, you know, when he's out there, he's going to give it his all. And, you know, same thing with Rui. You know, uh, you know, the best thing about that, our situation now, um, he can find his spots. And, you know, for him, he is someone that is a mid-range mid -range player. Um, he does a great job of exploiting Mitch message. Uh, mit, mit. You said it. You got it. I said it. Okay, cool. <laughs> got it. Talk too fast. And, um, 
you know, I think it'd be great these next games for him to find a rhythm and, and find his spots and um, contribute to winning basketball. So, Kyle, the team that you guys had up until 2 p.m. today started with such so well, 10 and 3, high expectations, and then seemed to unravel. Why do you think it didn't work out to everyone's hopes? Uh, I mean, you know, um, I don't want to get too much into it, but, you know, at the end of the day, uh, we started out really well, and then we just hit a rough patch and, um, you know, came really um, separated, if that makes sense. And, um, you know, it, it was a tough couple of months for us, but at the end of the day, that's, that's past us, and all we have is tomorrow. And, um, you know, I'm really excited to go forward with the group that we have and uh, the incomplete – incoming players that we have as well. So, um, you know, that's all I can really say, so. <laughs> Neil? Hey, Kyle, I'm curious, just what prior relationship uh, have you had with Chris Stops before? You know, you don't necessarily see someone, you know, able to just immediately call somebody up as soon as the news breaks and, you know, have a conversation with them. Is that because you guys are, you know, somewhat known to each other? Uh, no, I never talked to him before ever. I just uh, got his number from a friend and um, just hit him. You know, that's just the type of person I am. I'm a very welcoming person from the Midwest. And, you know, this is our hospitality. So, um you know, obviously, I, I've had a couple of teammates that's, that's been his friend or a couple of teammates that's, you know, played with him. And um, I know the coaching staff, so it was easy to get in contract, uh, contact with him. Thanks, Goose. Nice outfit. Ken. Hey, Coos, uh, what was the difference between your headspace today before 3 p.m. versus, you know, previous years in L.A. before the trade deadline? Oh, uh, man, I knew I wasn't going nowhere. I'd say that, you know, uh, my, <laughs> my first four years in the league, I was always in trade talks and trade rumors. You know, that's just how it is in, in um, you know, big markets and, you know, being an asset. So, um, you know, I slept well. Um, you know, I knew it was a real anxious time around here, obviously, being through it and having young guys that have always been in trade talks here in, in the past couple months. But, um you know, I'm just glad it's over. I'm really happy for the guys that are here and, um, you know, they can really just, you know, ease their mind and just play basketball. You know, that's the most important thing right now. Um, you know, we just want to have fun and uh, just try to collect W's because uh, we haven't had much of that this year. And also um, at the end of the third quarter, you had double digit points, double digit rebounds, nine assists. What was on your mind coming into the floor with the uh, triple double watch? I mean, I knew I had nine, but uh, I was just trying to make the right play, honestly. Uh, really not trying to downplay it, but, um, you know, I, I just try to be aggressive, find open man, and, um, you know, try to get the win. That was the most important thing. You know, nobody wants to triple-double when you lose. That sucks. That's good. Last question to Wayne. Hey, first off, congrats on the triple-double coups. Uh, with a total team one like this, uh, what were you most proud of tonight? Uh, Anthony Gill, so I'm most proud of a uh, guy that never really plays for us. He is the most optimistic, positive person. Um, you know, one of the best teammates I've probably been around. So really, really happy for him. You know, he's a very smart guy, a uh, smart player, just does all the uh, dirty work, never complains. And, uh, he's a great guy to have around. I was happy for him, you know, having 14 and, you know, making crucial plays for us. Thanks, cool. Appreciate you, man. Yes, sir. All right, Kuz, appreciate your time. Yep. Ah.